Hello and welcome to this tutorial on CAD cleanup operations within the SimScale platform. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on a crane geometry that will undergo a linear static simulation. Although visually the current CAD model looks clean, it contains some of the most common problems that will cause simulation failures in finite element analyses. Using the tutorial for a linear static simulation of a crane, linked in the description of this video, I have set up a simulation and I am ready to start a new run. Let's see what happens. An error message appears informing me that I have some contacts missing between the parts. This error message prevents me from running a simulation altogether as it would certainly fail. In this case, my CAD model has some parts that are not fully connected. Having a closer look at the geometry, one of the issues is very clear. The crane structure parts are separate from each other by a small gap, and we can clearly see the gap when zooming in. A second CAD issue that commonly causes problems with contact detection is interfering parts. This happens when two parts coexist in the same space. You can actually solve these issues directly within the SimScale platform without going back to your CAD tool. To do so, we can enter the CAD mode environment by selecting one of the geometries and pressing the Edit in CAD mode button. Let's now enter CAD mode and see how it looks. In the CAD mode environment, you will find several CAD related operations allowing you to modify and clean up a CAD model directly in SimScale. On the top, you have a list of operations to choose from, and as you create new operations, they are going to be listed under History on the left-hand side panel. For example, I am going to create a scale operation to scale my model up by a factor of 10x. There you go, now the scale operation is listed under History, and if I am no longer interested in this operation, I can simply right-click and delete it. Now, as I mentioned previously, one common issue that we have in CAD models is interfering parts. Using an interferences operation, we can check if those exist for the current CAD model. Here, the platform is detecting a single interference between the crane structure and the block. We have a few ways to address interfering parts in CAD mode. One of them is by running a Boolean subtract operation, like this one. And the logic here is very simple. We are going to choose a tool body that is going to remove volume from a target body. We can also choose to keep or discard the tools. In this case, I am going to choose the block as a tool body and the crane structure as a target body. After running the subtract operation, I can run again interferences to see if the interference is resolved. As we can see, the platform no longer detects any interferences here. However, there is an even quicker way to solve interferences in CAD mode, so for now, I am going to delete the subtract operation and I am going to run a fix interferences operation instead. Using the fix interferences operation, you can resolve all interferences in the model at once. So for a given pair of interfering volumes, the smaller volume is used as a tool and the larger volume is used as a target. Once you run the operation, you will receive a confirmation if all interferences are resolved, which is the case here. The next problem to tackle is the gap in the crane structure. For this purpose, the move face operation is going to be very useful. We have a couple of move methods available. The first one is by a given distance, and the second one is up to an entity. In our case, since we're interested in closing the gaps, the second option is going to be a little better. The setup is very simple. 
first we have to pick the faces to move. I am going to pick the three faces on one side of the gap. And then we have to pick one entity to move to. This is going to be one of the faces on the other side of the gap. After running this operation, all three gaps are going to be closed at once. However, there is a small problem here. Due to the initial gap, the crane structure is divided into two volumes. To solve this problem, we can run a Boolean union operation, selecting both sides of the crane structure and pressing apply. This is going to merge the two volumes of the crane structure into a single one. Now, you may have already noticed that I have a letter imprinted on the crane structure. For linear static simulations, if these details do not have any structural impact, it is recommended to remove them. In CAD mode, this can be easily done by running a delete face operation. The shrink healing method is going to work perfectly in this case. This option attempts to heal the original crane structure, leaving a smooth surface. The box selection tool is a quick way to select all faces from the letter A. This can be done by enabling the box selection tool right here and drawing a box around the letter A to select all faces at once. After running the operation, as you can see, the face is completely smooth and there is no sign of the letter A anymore. This geometry is almost ready for a static simulation. However, we still need to run one additional operation named imprint. The imprint operation makes the automatic contact detection much more robust later on during the simulation setup. And as a rule of thumb, the imprint should be run whenever we have more than one volume in the geometry. In this case, we have two. To run imprint, we simply press apply. And there we go. Once we are satisfied with the geometry, we can press export to bring the model back to the workbench. Once the new model is in, we can continue with the simulation setup. In this case, we have fixed the geometry without having to leave the SimScale platform. I hope that you found this CAD mode tutorial insightful, and I will see you in SimScale. Thank you.